attempt. Tonight is an April Fool's Day, 2000. Yeah, it's recording now. April Fool's Day, 2011. And this is Jason. Jason, sorry about that, mate. The last film didn't didn't um, record. So your mum had it. Your mum died about five weeks ago, was it? Yeah, five weeks ago, my mum died. Was it? Yeah. That's a sudden. Seven. Heart attack, high blood pressure, and blocked arteries. Yeah. Up and uh, apparently it was all to do with her smoking and like her bad diet. Mm. And I did advise my mum to go to the doctors. I couldn't make her because I can't do that. I can only yeah. advise, which is natural and fair enough. Right. Do you know what I mean, Jack? And it's like, yeah, man. <laughs> it's a sad smoking, but how, how many pills was she taking for depression? Oh, fucking hell, about two a night. Like fucking 40 milligrams. And like, yeah. they made you pissed. She didn't need beer. She had her fucking medication tablets to get her pissed, I tell ya. But, and she just chose not to go to the doctors. And obviously, it was her wish to live the life she chose to live. Yeah. Like I mean, it is everyone. I was going out with a bloke about... Two and a half, three and a half years. Yeah. He was on fourteen pills a day because he was yeah. depressed. You know, you take one pill, for, well, a couple of pills for depression. Then you got to take another pill for the side effects, another pill to do this, another pill to do that. I mean, he was on about literally fourteen pills a day. Mm. Incredible, and that's because depression, you know, schizophrenia and all that. Yeah, but I mean, I miss my mum. I think of her every day, and I'll always yeah. love her. Well, she's always inside you now. Isn't she? Yeah. Every time you look in the mirror, she'll be there. Yeah, exactly, mate. You got the same eyes, have you? Yeah. Yeah, I thought yeah. I saw that. I don't know. Something about the eyes. Yeah. You've got good eyes. I like your eyes. Very, very sort of sharp. Cheers. Everyone, a lot of girls yeah. say that about my yeah. eyes. Yeah, I'm quite popular when it comes you to might, the eyes. You might have the same sort of eyes. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like bigger ones though. Oh, all right. Cool. Yeah. Jack, do you want to come here and sit here? And no, I'm cool, you're right. All right. Cool. No, that's right. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, so that was five, five weeks ago. Yeah, five weeks. You're still you're used to, you're right, so it's, it's going to take about another mm. six months to, even, to get used yeah. to the idea. Or maybe really. a year. Yeah. Maybe Do you always sort of feel like, you know, almost like, oh, I've got to go and see mum. Oh, no, she's dead. Yeah, yeah, I get that. And I keep thinking I've got her in a rut. Yeah, that must be really hard. I mean, if she could see the life I've been having in the last five weeks, she'd be shocked. What do you mean? Because, like, going out every day, only about with mates now, new mates who she's never met before. Well, that's it's, it's good that you're getting out, though. Mm. It's good that you don't, you're not dwelling on it, though, are you, sort of thing? Mm. It's, ha it's happened. I mean, you must be quite strong to sort of cope with that. I don't, yeah. think, I don't know, but I'd, I'd find that really hard to cope with, to be honest. Some people deal with grief in different mm. ways. Like, some people, they look themselves away and they're yeah. crying. But then some people... Was your mum very outgoing? Like, yeah, she was very outgoing, but she was against drinking drugs, but... yeah. That was that's my choice really. Oh yeah, I mean I like I mean I love to smoke. Oh, I love smoking. My, my, I mean, my parents, you know, they know I smoke pot, you know. Yeah. You know, I drink. You've but got to, though, haven't you? It's like, well, I mean, I um, I I took a tab of LSD one night. Yeah. And I thought I was a red Indian, and I walked from Lempstead Road down to the Forum and back. Yeah. Completely stark naked. Really. In the middle of the night, stark naked in the middle oh, of the night. Hell. Had the police sirens everywhere. I yeah. thought, get home. I knocked on the door because I left my keys. I hadn't got any keys, so my mum and dad answered the door. Really? And I was really off my face in LSD, totally off my face in LSD. <laughs> and my fucking parents answered the door. <laughs> that was that was quite funny. Well, it was funny for them. <laughs> or me at the time. Right? But they opened the door. So they, 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 it's, 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 not, it's not exactly a secret that I sort of take drugs and stuff. But I've only kept to LSD. I mean, I stick to mainly LSD and dope. Can't get LSD these days, really. <coughs> wish I could. So you're a Freddie Mercury fan? Yeah. Let's make sure this is recording, yeah. How long have you, you been into Freddie Mercury for? Um, 23 this year. I've been growing up with Freddie since the age of four. And I, I'm known around to be Hertfordshire's biggest Queen fan that most of like people I've got in my life yeah. have ever come across. Excellent. But yeah, I've been a big fanatic for ages now, and it's like... You've got the record sort of thing, haven't you? Yeah, I've got a oh, uh, yeah. t-shirt of him from one yeah. of his Wembley concerts, and CDs, books, posters, DVDs, signed oh, pictures. Can you pass the toilet roll over from down there? Should be toilet roll. Yeah? All oh, right, you collect all the memorabilia. Yeah, I love my... That'd be, that'd be worth a yeah. bit in the end. I love Queen, but yeah. it's all about Freddie Mercury. He's my favourite. Yeah. Yeah, it was amazing. Good. Everyone says to me, don't you ever get bored of listening to him mention him? I'm like, no... Because it's something you get used to the conversation. It's realise it's a subject. You realise that you can go on for hours and have so many interesting mm -hmm. conversations about. Yeah, well, my, my brother was more of a, when we were kids. My brother, my older brother, was more of a Queen band than me. I, I don't get into him till um, I suppose eighties or nineties. I suppose I got into Queen. Yeah. Well, the nineties really, I got into Queen. Yeah. Um, but my brother, my older brother Robert, he's about he's a year older than me. He was a big Queen fan at the time. Yeah, ever since they began, sort of thing. Yeah. 
He's the one to talk to about that. I mean, he, he knows. I mean, he was sort of like he, I don't know if he went to any of his concerts. I don't think he went to any concerts, but he was he was quite a big Queen fan. He liked Kiss as well for some reason, but I hated that band. Oh, it's got a crack. But never mind. <laughs> but no, I like Queen. Yeah, and my brother was a quick big Queen fan when they first started. I was more than, more into madness myself. Yeah, but now yeah. Freddie Mercury. Though, I mean, favorite song was "Too Much Love to Kill You." Yeah. Yeah. Sing it. yeah. Go on, yeah, I've got a microphone there. I'm just the pieces. Man, I used to be. Too many bitter tears that raining down on me. I'm far away from home. And I've been facing this alone. For much too long. Oh. I feel like no one ever told the truth to me about growing up and what a struggle it would be in my tangled state of mind I've been looking back to find where I went wrong oh yes too much love will kill you if you can't make up your mind Torn between the lover and the love you leave behind You've headed for disaster Cause you never read the signs Too much love will kill you In the end Actually think about it, I have actually recorded this song Or parts of it I think I've, I, you know, I've made my own videos, concerts and stuff yeah. so I mean, I've, got, I've, got, I've actually got quite a few actually I've, I've to play, You have to come out and have, have to give you a well what time, what time do you have to go? Never. We'll watch a few films in a minute if you want. Yeah. I'll show you some of the films in a minute, yeah? What ones? Well, the films I made. Well, songs. Oh, right, yeah. I'll show you some of my songs and stuff. Yeah, Vicky said she's going to ring me, innit? Yeah. Okay, what else have we, we got? It's, it's recording this time. We've got another eight minutes left, about. There's only 15 minutes. That's what I like about I quite like these YouTubes because the, si the length of it is good. 15 yeah. minutes. Because sometimes I, I do have a tendency of going on and on and yeah. on. It's very easy, especially because I've been making films for so long. Yeah, but I could do that. Like when you feel uh, in a comfortable position. And like, you've got something to talk about. You yeah, like on the on same theme. Like, you know, people yeah. aren't going to judge because like, a lot of people judge Freddie Mercury. And, like, a lot well, I mean, of it's like um, with, with a lot of my video um, web tube films, I talk about the same thing over and over again. Yeah. But that's because that's what I want to talk about. And Because you've got to think about it. Like when you, when you make a web movie, how many people are going to watch it? You Not may many. you may have you may have what ten million people on the web, mm. yeah. But you're not but, even half of those. To, to find that. to find one yeah, but to find one website is like looking for a needle in a haystack. Yeah. basically. you need a magnet. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's like looking for a needle in a haystack. Really, the chance of actually getting a, any of these films actually watched is about a million to one. Yeah. Mind you, I have had quite a good kickback on uh, quite a few people have seen my Star Trek stories. I like Star Trek yeah. stories and stuff. I only just found out that Scott is dead from Star Trek. James Doohan. Do you remember the original Star Trek? No. No, I don't. I suppose before your generation, isn't it? Yeah. That's the problem, though, because I haven't had Star Trek on TV for about 15 years, have they? You're not on the main channels. There is one channel, I think, does it? It's the same with these bloody um, digital channels, because there's so many digital channels. It, it, it's yeah. like trying, trying to find a decent program to watch. Is it's fucking it's not impossible. Like, yeah. On the digital channel, it's the same programs that I've been watching for the past. Well, uh, yeah, but it's a load of crap. I mean, who wants to know? I, I mean, I was around. I was around. I mean, the problem is the, the actual, the actual, the actual quality of a of a digital TV is absolute shit compared yeah. to the analog. It's flat. As Most, far as it's flat. A lot of TV programs that one today, a load of fucking bollocks. I know. I was turned it on the other. I mean, I was around my brothers watching one of the digital not the channels. Same. <laughs> TV. And, and, and you know what they got? You know what they got for children's TV? Something called Pippa the Pig. This flat, pathetic cardboard. Cover. Yeah. And it's pathetic. It actually looks crap. Yeah, well, we had Tom and Jerry, man. We yeah, had Donald yeah, Duck, and yeah, things like that. Yeah, but these we things, had Magic yeah, Roundabout they're, they're, they're and the Muppet Show. Things like the pimples, yeah, and like it's not even proper. Come language. here, Jack. Come, come here and make a film. It's, it's, come it's, and talk, talk to the camera because we can't hear you otherwise. Sit on the edge there. 
And now yeah, we're getting man, Jack's, getting now we're getting Jack's uh, view on all the uh, yeah. latest television. <laughs> yeah. these, these fucking kids, these little kids programmes, yeah? yeah. Like, they don't even speak, it's, they don't even speak to each other properly. It's like, tinkity donk dink bonk or, or <laughs> it's, it's, t- it, it's time for tink tonk wonk donk. And it's like, what the uh, fuck are you on uh, about? Uh, yeah? uh, these, these kids are going to pick up on that language, yeah, to speak, yeah? You yeah, don't want them speaking Jack, at school, Jack. like, oh, tinky tonk, tink tonk wonk donk. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's well, like, like we had Bill and Ben. We had Bill and Ben. Yeah. When I was a kid. Yeah, but like, like all like, all cartoons, they was, were that a lot. Was flobber, lobber, and, lob. No, yeah. we had flobber, lobber, yeah. lob. Yeah. We had flobber, lobber, lob in my generation, which <laughs> was lobber, uh, lobber, lobber, uh, lobber, Bill and Ben. Yeah. But see, TV... but we, also, we also had the clangers. <laughs> That's it. You like, yeah, you heard the clangers. <laughs> but yeah, it, most of it was quite funny though. It, at least it had a bit of sense of humour. Like, <laughs> Why do I do like the Teletubbies? I do actually like the Teletubbies. Teletubbies. I think, I think really Teletubbies. Good. But yeah, to finish though, Bill, yeah, television, yeah, mm. ended like four odd years ago before me and Jack were born. Yeah. When you had programmes like George and Mildred, Man About the House, Robin's Nest. How do you know about these? Me dad, because I've watched them with me dad. And it's like, I look on video or something. DVD. He's got the old box. Oh, right. Yeah, he's got a lot. Oh. He's got Man About the House and George Mildred on Excellent. DVD. Yeah. And I sat there and watched them with him, and I thought, this is something <laughs> better than the shit that I got put on in my day oh, yeah. on TV. Steptoe and Sunny's good. I got yeah. 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 I mean, I've been playing for years. There's no. I like that old band. There's no old Albert Steptoe is in there. The problem is now, since they've since they've since they've digitised TV. Well, he gets crap, and it does look like crap. It looks computerised. The television does look computerised now. It doesn't look realistic anymore. I want analogue, and I want VHS. Jack, you do me my favourite and pass me over my phone, bro. Uh, I mean, I've, got about, I've got about 300 films on the fucking VHS. So I've, you know, I've actually bought about, no, three, Jack, like is this, is this a joint? Hmm. I've been making films on VHS mm. for sort of like 15 years. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll whack it down there, please, bro. What's that? What's that? What's that? Who's that? Oh, that's just my friend. Is it us? Yeah. Yeah, just slide the uh, case like? up. Just slide it up. Yes. Modern mobile phones aren't new. Oh, right. oh, that's nice. a tribute message I put on my mum's door last week to her uh, on paper. Yeah. Rest in peace, mum. I'll always remember you. The memories we have and do live in my heart forever. That's sweet. What else you got? Yeah. Where did you get the pictures? I mean, what other pictures got there? Yeah. Right. That's, so that's a friend of yours, is it? Yeah, my lady friend called oh, Terry. Oh, right. Cool. I've only met her once, and like, you know what I mean? She's a really good friend. But, um, she's a really nice girl. You've got very sharp eyes. It's, it's very photogenic on the eyes. Yeah, a lot of people say that, and a lot, oh, lot of girls say we go. A lot of girls say they go by my personality. Yeah. Do you your, uh, your personality like your mum's? Yeah. Mental? That's where I get my language. Yeah, that's where mm. I get my language from, and like, I don't give a shit who mm. what I say. I just say if you don't like my style, fuck off out the door. Do That's what, what I mean? I've always felt. Yeah, people don't like me. Still, <laughs> <laughs> I really don't care what people think of me. I mean, everyone hates. Me. <laughs> no, my friends. I've got lots and lots of friends in the films, you know. But most of the world outside, I can't. I'm down the post office. Lot of don't like. Go ain't strike and stuff like that. I'm not the most popular person in the world. But then again, I don't want to be. <laughs> would you want to be, Mr. Pop? Would Would you want everyone to like you? I mean, look, look how many wankers there are in this world. It real cunts outside. You know, yeah. a lot of them are. Um, uh, would you really want them to be your friends? No, because at the end of the day, the less friends you have, no, more not the less. Chance... No, no, not the less. Just more select. The yeah. the fewer friends you have, yeah, the less chance you have of got of your best friends becoming your enemies and getting hurt. Well, actually, to be honest with you, no, I've got, I've got, I've got about thirty or forty. Well, I've got loads of friends actually. I've got hundreds of friends. Well, Jack's your friend, didn't but you? I've got, yeah, but I've got, I've got a hell of a lot of friends over the years I've collected. No, I love them all. But if if I don't like someone, I wouldn't be their friend in the first place. I wouldn't become a friend with someone if I didn't like them in the first place. No, yeah. You got to like someone straight. Away. You got. Uh, uh, but you don't judge well, someone. Not, not, necess- not, not until I know them. Yeah. You know, I mean, sort of like. No, I don't judge people until I know them. And what, I don't judge people in a way, really. I just, there's some people I like, some people I don't like. Yeah. And to be honest with you, there are a lot of people outside I do not like. Yeah. You, know, you can sit and you talk, you go, you go to work and all they talk about is football, football, football. Uh, football, 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 football. Did you see the match last night? Did you, and I can't stand that. Jack on. So, so why, why, why would I want to be friends with people who I don't even get on with? I mean, I've got nothing against football. I just don't like it myself. No, but I mean... You know, if you're going to, I mean, you can, if you're going to sort of like, 
don't have any connection between a per between someone, there's no much point trying to be a friend, really. Because, you know, you, you don't really want to be with boring people, do you? No. You know, boring people you don't really want to know, do you? No, exactly. <laughs> you, know? uh, you can sit there and say, oh, hello, buddy, how are you doing? Oh, yeah, yeah, great. Did you see the match last night?